Well, with fall and back to school being such a busy time, followed by frantic holiday rushes, people are more stressed than ever this time of year and exhausted. On top of this, millions suffer from sleep trouble to begin with, and poor sleep contributes to low energy during the day. Kimberly Olson, a.k.a. Fit Kim, is here to give us some great ways to get natural energy and help us sleep better. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. I think people that I know need this advice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what, what it is about us if we're just moving too quickly, but mm -hmm. everybody seems tired. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it's a vicious cycle like you just mentioned. So what I want to show viewers is that there are foods, there are natural products that you can actually use to help you boost your energy levels and fight off that stress during the holiday seasons and actually get a good night's sleep. Good. Okay, <laughs> bring it. So <laughs> this is, I'm always talking about lemon all the time. Now what is it about lemon? Well, lemon is great for detoxification, cleansing the body, but specifically for what we're talking about, I like to promote alkaline foods. Mm -hmm. Alkaline foods can help you uh, really start your day by rejuvenating it, help you just wa want to fight the day and just have a lot of energy, kind of that go-getting. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about lemon water, so actually if you squeeze a lemon in your water, just drink it in the morning mm -hmm. and you can do it throughout the day. What it does, it stimulates your digestive system and as a byproduct, your metabolism increases, which right. means more energy. I think a lot of people are happy about <laughs> yeah, that. So you and can travel with it. It's you know, easy. You could go and buy really expensive water that's been alkalized. Yes. But <laughs> w why not just get a lemon? Yeah, and right? do it yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what is <laughs> This. this is a supplement, a natural product of rhodiola. Mm -hmm. Rhodiola is what's called an adaptogen. So the main thing to remember with that, it's a plant that can withstand very harsh climates. It can grow in Iceland mm. to Siberia. Okay. It's been used since the beginning of Tibetan culture. And why I like to recommend this is because when you consume something that's an adaptogen, it helps us adapt to stress. Really? Yeah, so when we get chronic stress, I mean, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we just, we can't even think and we have that brain fog and this can arm you so you can bake that cake or do that holiday shopping. Oh my God. Gosh, how much can you take? Just um, one? Uh, do you just need one a day? Yeah, you just follow the serving size. On Rhodiola. It. <laughs> Rhodiola. Okay. I, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Good. No stress there. Uh, now, food is important. It's very important. Yes. Daily nutrition is going to help people have sustained energy throughout the day. So. When it's the holiday season, I find with my clients, they have a hard time doing really well with following an eating plan. Mm -hmm. because with all these goodies, sweets. sweets, and good things. I mean, we want to enjoy ourselves. Uh -huh. But what I recommend is supplementing with a daily multivitamin. Okay. It's a way to kind of drink your nutrition. So I like liquid because it can be absorbed easier than a, a, cap, a capsule. Mm -hmm. What you want to look for is organic and one that has vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants from a plant-based source. And you just do one ounce a day. One ounce a day. Yes. What about this? Can I just chew on that? Yes, what is you that? can. It's kale. Oh, <laughs> I like kale. Yeah, so it's a purple kind of kale. But right. you could chew on that if you, you wanted to. You just have to know how to prepare it. That's yes, all. You do. Now, bananas are a wonder food? Yes, they are. And like you said, something simple like lemon, something simple as banana. This is really easy for anyone to do. Bananas are known for their high potassium content, but what I find they can be helpful for is actually falling asleep. They actually are high in vitamin B6, which helps your body produce melatonin. Mm -hmm. We know melatonin is a sleep-inducing hormone. Yes. Also, it's high in potassium and magnesium, which actually relax the muscles. So it kind of helps you turn your brain off So we night. think of that as a morning food, but have one before bed. Yes. And finally, what is that? This is a supplement version to help your body fall asleep naturally. Sometimes people don't want to do medication and things like that. So there are natural supplements out there. When looking for a sleep supplement, I recommend looking for something that has plant-based ingredients. Yeah. Um, lemon balm, L-glycine, these are amino acids, GABA, they all create an inner sense of calm. So at night, what, even if people try to get seven, out, seven to eight hours of sleep at night, the quality, I mean, they're waking up all the time and they wake up and they feel like they didn't sleep at all. Mm -hmm. So really good quality is really important and a, a supplement form can help you just fall asleep naturally. Sweet, sleep sweetly. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite one. So as long as it's plant-based, you say give it a shot. I think so, yeah. You ever tried spraying lavender around your pillow yes, or anything I'm, like I'm, that? I like essential oil. So mm -hmm. I'll do different ones. Lavender is known for rest and relaxation. So doing a bath and putting in uh, 10 drops of lavender essential oil with, um, you can do baking soda and Epsom salt. Mm. Create your own little concoction for night. Yeah. And that can kind of calm you down. Oh, and you three minutes before going to bed. This is a great thing. Research has shown it helps turn your, your brain off. Turn off the electronics, turn off the TV, and it'll help you kind of unwind so you can actually fall asleep. 30 minutes before bed. Yes. Kimberly Olson, we can all do this. Yes. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. We'll be right back with more day